Hey everyone, it's Liz and welcome back to my channel. Today I have something really, really exciting. I'm going to be reviewing my first Ipsy Glam Bag. I've been waiting to get this bag for like 20 days now since I like signed up because I was like, you know what, I'm gonna finally just do it. I'm just gonna get an Ipsy bag because it's been like a few years now that Ipsy's been around and um, I just never really caught on to the whole phase of like getting subscription boxes in the mail um, and then you know I was like well this is only ten dollars you get a really cute makeup bag so I can put this in my purse every month and you get five different products every month so yeah why not so if you haven't already don't forget to subscribe to my channel so all you have to do is just click this little button right down over here it says subscribe and then once you click on that there should be a little bell and if you want to know whenever I post a video which is usually around like once a week then all you have to do is just click that little tiny bell it's really really cute and you can get notifications when I post videos here on YouTube so this themes bag is Metropolis so Ipsy has four new creators and just one of them like one of them I'm really really excited about because it's Gabriel and I think he's hilarious I love his channel I love his snapchat so I think he's the funniest person like ever and I'm really excited about it because he's the first male Ipsy creator so that's really really cool too as well it's pretty groundbreaking what like this whole YouTube community is doing right now especially since I've been on YouTube since 2010 so it's been about seven years now actually it's gonna be seven years in February it's like technically my YouTube birthday so um, just it's come so so far I wish my channel has gone as far as YouTube has but I know my little channel one day will have its day and it will grow and flourish to something really really big so I'm really excited to show you guys what I have in my Ipsy Glam bag, so why don't we just get to it. <laughs> so I'm going to start off with my first thing in my Ipsy bag, I'm really excited about this. And it is the Smashbox Camera Ready BB Cream Broad Spectrum in SPF 35. This is it right here, it's a little thing and um, honestly, probably not going to do any more foundations or like concealers or anything if it's going to come in like a size like this it's just not worth it for me so but anyway I'm going to try this out it's in the color light medium so I'm a little afraid that it, it's going to be my color but it might not be my color and I also went ahead put um primer on my face and I color correct that's why my under eyes are red right now and probably like what is going on <laughs> uh that's because I have to color correct my eyes every single time I do my makeup. <laughs> okay. Okay, so yeah, it's definitely my color. It does smell like um, sunscreen though, which I'm not totally a big fan of. Alright, now I'm afraid that it's not going to cover up this redness because this is super, super light. It does feel very lightweight. It doesn't feel like super heavy which is always good, but it is kind of hard to smooth around my face. And that just might be just because of the the BB cream aspect of it, I mean the the SPF part of it. Okay, alrighty, so I have it on. It is very, it's lightweight. I wouldn't call this like obviously super full coverage, especially since it is just a BB cream. Since this is my first Ipsy bag, I think I want to do like will I repurchase it or not type of thing too as well. If I was to have this, would I repurchase it? And honestly, probably not because I don't really like BB creams and we'll see how this works for the rest of the day. Usually BB creams are like make me break out, which I'm hoping it doesn't, but um... We'll see for the rest of the day. Alright, so next thing that I have in my bag is this is a oh my gosh. Mana man mana nod ardar mana cardar. Am I saying that right? I hope so. It is a I believe this is a eyeshadow. So I'm pretty sure this is an eyeshadow. It is from Mena Nard Card Kadar Beauty. Um, it's in the color Fantasy. So let's try this out. And I think this was supposed to be like the three in one. 
if I'm not mistaken. Alrighty, so I just looked it up and it's Mana and then it's Kadar. Kadar, I think. Cosmetics. It's the Paradise Blush. It's a warm pink with apricot undertones. So I know this is a blush, but I'm going to use it as an eyeshadow because I already have another blush in here as well. Okay, so at first glance when I'm like taking a swatch out of it, it is like you can see it's a nice shine. I might just use this as my highlighter as well. Um, it is very soft, but it's very, very light. So it's not like totally coming up, but we will we'll see. Just taking a really fluffy brush. I'm just going to put it on my eyes. Yeah, I definitely wouldn't be using this as a <laughs> blush, per se, because it's super duper light. But it is a really nice, like, almost like a highlight color. So I put it on as a highlighter and then on my eyes as well. And honestly, it's just like okay to me. Like, will it be something that I go out and purchase myself? Probably not. But I mean, the color's nice, and I probably should like start playing with it a little bit more. And then I can kind of really, really say how I feel about it. But the color is really pretty in the um in the packaging. It's in the color fantasy. I'm not sure if I said that or not. Um, Honestly, out of five stars, I'd probably just give it a three, because it's like, eh, you know? So next up, we have a blush, and it is from Model Co. Uh, the Model Co. Blush, and it's in Peach Bellani. Now that is a blush. It is super duper dark. It's very, very soft to the touch, and it's very pigmented. Um, you can kind of see the pink over here. This seems really, really nice. Like, I'm really excited about this. Alright, so I have the blush. I actually just went off screen real quick, did my eyebrows, and then put some mascara on as well. Now it's time for blush. Alright. This is a nice blush. And it gives a little bit of like a gold shimmer to it. Wow, and a little goes a long way, like a real long way. All right, so this blush is really, really nice. Like, I'm actually really impressed with it because usually blushes don't like tend to want to show up on my face because I don't know why, just because, but this one is pretty good and I'm loving it so far. And I like that it kind of gives like a little bit of like a highlight like tone to it as well because highlight like it's kind of a tricky thing for me for my face for some reason I just feel like highlight just never stays on my face I don't know it's just a weird thing but um, as you can see like, I feel like my my cheeks are glowing right now so that's always good alright out of five stars I'd give this five five out of five I really love this this is the model Clo blush model co blush <laughs> and it's in peach Bellani. Alright, so that is it for my makeup that I have in my Ipsy bag, and now I have two more products, well actually technically three, because they sent me two masks, and they sent me two face masks, which I'm really excited to try out. Um, they are from Love Recipe, it's the Aviche Berry, and then an aloe mask, which I'm going to do at night, so I will have a little full review on that before I go to sleep, <laughs> so I'll have like an iPhone cam um, video of me using the mask and everything like that. So I'm really excited about this because I feel like at the end of the day my face gets really red after I like wash it and everything like that so I feel like the aloe mask is gonna feel really really nice and if this works out then I might get some for the summertime because aloe is really good for your skin in the summertime especially if you're outside a lot and you are getting sunburned you know. <laughs> So an owl mask is something to definitely look into a little bit more. And I also got a nail polish. I'm also going to have another iPhone video of my nail polish that I have. It's pink. I don't have it on right now, but I will in a second. <laughs> right, and I will let you know how the nail polish goes. I was really, really excited that I got the Not the Ballerina one. It's like a pink, a light pink um, shade. There was that one and there was a gray one. And I was like, please God, if you give me one thing. Please give me the light pink nail polish. So I was really happy about that. So that is my first Ipsy bag. I'm really, really excited. I wanted to get Ipsy for so long. And then 
finally I was just like, okay, let's do it. Like, I'm just gonna do it. So I finally got one. Super, super excited about it. I can't wait to be reviewing more of them as well. It's really easy, it's really cool, and it's only $10 a month for all those products. And like, I kind of added up all the products and it would definitely be over $10, which is really, really awesome. Um, so yeah, it is pretty cool because you can customize what you want in your bag every month. So, like for instance, now that I saw my bag for this month, I'm gonna go and customize it to make sure like I don't get any more foundations or like any more like concealers and things like that. So, um, it's pretty cool, I'm just so excited. So thank you guys so much for watching this review of my first Ipsy bag. Um, out of 10 stars, I will give this Ipsy bag a seven and a half. Seven and a half for this time around, only because I really didn't really like the BB cream, and I didn't really like the um, this this mini, mini whatever I can't even pronounce it that kind of blush eyeshadow pigment thing. Uh, but everything else I really really loved, and I'm really excited to get my next bag in February. So let me know if you like this kind of review, like me demoing the products while doing this or do you want me just to review them, swatch them out and that's it. Um, let me know in the comments below oh, and thumbs up this video if you liked it. Don't forget to subscribe before you leave and I'll talk to you in my next video. Lots of love guys. Bye!